Shall we clap for Jesus? Thank you. You may be seated. Ephesians chapter 2. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 12. I hope and trust that I will share this message according to the will of God. Verse 12. Remember, the issue is Jesus. Jesus is the center of everything. There is no way we can pray without Jesus. There is no way you can become a child of God without Jesus. Even when we say you are a born again Christian, it's because the life that you are living now, it is not your own life. It is Christ himself in you. Verse 12. Remember that at that time, you were separated from Christ, excluded from citizenship in Israel, and fallen us to the covenant of the promise, without hope and without God in the world. But now, in Christ, take note of this, but now, in Christ Jesus, you were once afar away, you have been brought near by the blood of Jesus. 14, for he himself, he is our peace, who has made the two groups one and has destroyed the barrier and the dividing wall of hostility. By setting aside in his flesh the law with each command and regulations, his purpose was to create in himself one new humanity out of the two, thus making peace. 16, and in one body to reconcile both of them to God through the cross, which he put to death their hostility. 17, he came and preached peace to you who were far away and peace to those who were near. 18, for through him we both have access to the Father by one spirit. You can read all of it up to the end, but because of time, let me take you back to verse 12. Chapter 2, verse 12. Remember that at that time, you were separated from Christ. Which time? At that time, you were separated from Christ. Which time? Before Christ came, as a light, as a power of life. You were living here on earth just as a human being, or let me just say a child without father and mother. You don't even know what is next. That was life before Christ came. You were separated totally. Don't forget that we are talking about two groups the Jews and the Gentiles. Before Christ, there were people who feel like they are the ones who belong to God. And others, they were rejected, you know, as nothing. In short, life was no meaning to them. That was before. I hope you understand this. That was what? before you were separated from Christ, excluded from citizenship in Israel, and fallen us to the covenant of the promise. Which covenant of the promise? I'm talking about Christ. Without hope and without God in the world. There was no hope. It was you created by yourself. There is no one to protect you. There's no one to defend you. Others are the ones who are claiming to be, we belong to God, we have a creator. You, you have no creator. 
that is the more reason why you need to appreciate Jesus and acknowledge his life for the rest of your life. Because before Jesus came, I don't know which name you can pray. What made you even to say God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is because of Jesus. You were living without hope, without God in the world. It's Bible, it's not me. This is why, people of God, you need to maintain your relationship with Jesus 24-7. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor, maintain your relationship with Jesus. Say it again. Yes, because without Jesus, there was no life, no direction, no hope. You are in the bush where there's lions, there's snake, all kinds of, you know, dangerous animals. No father, no mother, no weapon. You are just walking. When you see another day, you say, oh, thank God, I can see another day. But today, I can stand and walk with my head high. Why? Because of Jesus. Jesus is life. Jesus is your future. Jesus is your hope. Even when it comes to salvation, you cannot go to God Almighty without the name Jesus. It is through him. Life yabula wakupanga. Life yabule suvilo. What kind of life is that? Where you don't even know what is next. The man came to add value to your life. Where there's no hope, it became hope. This is why a man like me, I can stand, not because of anything or by the means of the flesh, but because of the inner peace Jesus gave to me. Remember the time he was leaving this world, he said, peace is what I live with you. He was not talking about money or friends. No, he said peace. Is what I live with you. That is inside your heart. If you have Jesus inside your heart, you are a peace of person. Even in sickness, you not, you know, uh, feel like no one is there for you. You can still feel that someone is protecting. I am not going to die with this problem. I am not going to be destroyed by this problem. Someone is there protecting me. Except by his will to say, you are going to leave this world today. Yes. Are you there, people of God? So maintain your relationship with Jesus. Praise the Lord. Because before now, you were living without hope and without God in the world. What a life where there's no direction, there's no hope. You can do anything. You know, life you will become miserable when there's no hope. There's no one to fear. Even in the country where there's no law, no president, no security, anyone who be in charge, you, you, you discover, I mean, you realize that one day your neighbor will just walk in your house to say, I'm here to kill you. As long as there's no law. But because of law, your neighbor will enter, your call and say, okay, I will report you to police. Your neighbor will run away. Because there's law to pin him down. But now, this is the thing. In Christ Jesus, you were once far away. You have been brought near. By what? By the blood of Jesus. A price was paid. Sacrifice was made to bring you back. All the sacrifices that people were making was nothing and useless. His blood means life. His life means what? I mean, his blood means what? Life. Bambi mwarindoshi, mwale chitabe fintomo mwale fwaila, mwale iba. Because of the blood of Jesus today, ishinariyari chinja. Servant of God, human of God, evangelist, apostle, what and what. Who made you to be that person today? The name Jesus. There are people who can even say, we know this man. 
We know this woman. That is Jesus. Maintain your relationship with Jesus. He means life to you. Without Jesus, there's no life. You can gossip, you can do anything. I will not stop talking about this until we reach heaven. It is Jesus we need to preach to everyone, not hatred. Your fellow human beings cannot give you anything apart from food or clothes. What about life? Who can restore you? Who can give value to your name? The name which was useless. Now today, there are people who can even call you a servant of God, woman of God, man of God. Ah, Baba brother, before now. Ah, appreciate the life of Jesus in you. Listen to this because of time. Verse 14. For he himself is our peace. Jesus himself is what? Our peace. Where Jesus is in control, there is peace. Even in our family, in our marriages, in our relationships, as long as Jesus is there, there is peace in that house. There is peace in that relationship. Without Jesus, there is no peace. Who can make peace between the two of you? No one. Even if you have a friend where you exchange everything, you cook chicken today, uh, your friend is cooking carpenter. You carry the plate of chicken to your friend because they are eating carpenter. Because of that friendship. Without the peacemaker, Jesus himself, one day, you stop, you know, exchanging those plates. One will misbehave. One will be offended. You say, oh, so in any chipuva? Everything that we are doing, even, even if in business, in that company, in that office where you are, whatever position that you are holding today, are you running a company and you are doing very fine? Don't deceive yourself that it is because of your mind. It is because of that person. No. Who is the owner of the time that you are in today? Is it not God Almighty? Everything that you see, as long as Jesus is not part of it, ha, tomorrow you start crying. Tomorrow you start complaining. Your best friend today, tomorrow will be your enemy. It is only Jesus who is the same. Yesterday, today, and forever. Meaning, if Jesus is your peace, your life will be like Jesus. Your relationship will be like Jesus. Everything will be like he, Jesus. For he became what? The peace. Let me conclude 14. For he himself is our peace. Who made the two group one? Made the two group what? One. Meaning, but yaba tabale pendua. Yes, wabalengo kwambo kusashani. Aba fuala. Bakwata vario. Aba aba suri le bambo kumona. Turi unga. Because umupa shumo ino ulela ndamuri ifwe. E ulela ndamuri aba. Which means we are one. There is no Jews or Gentiles. We are all equal before God Almighty. Who made it possible? Jesus himself. Even where you cannot go, walking like this, Jesus will go there for you. Are you there, people of God? Let me conclude the message by telling you that anywhere where you go, whether in business, in marriage, Jesus is the man of peace. Nangukwa divendo shoko mubombela kutisha sendeng katu. The man of peace is inside you. Lurio luka tuta luwa bombe. Fidefi pa yabantu mufami kutu fiambo kupenda tu unombe wala konkapo. Pamula ndoko at the man of peace is inside you. You just say, I put X. I am here to make these people to stay. Not to die because of your ancestral. That is the value of the name Jesus. That is what? The value of the name Jesus. There is no way you can make it in life without Jesus. If today you are smiling, yes. Satan will look at you and say, ah, by what power is that person smiling? Or oh, because of this and that, I will destroy those things. He will destroy it. Before you know it, you are crying. Jesus is the man of peace. He will bring understanding. He will bring unity. He will bring everything that you need to exist for. 
Don't deceive yourself that you can make it because your father is a minister. Because your brother is what? He's a police. He's a commander. He's what? No. It is only Jesus who is the commander of the commander. So maintain your relationship with Jesus. Tell your neighbor. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Thank you. God bless you. Oh.